Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Garvin and I'm responsible for the restaurants at Neiman Marcus throughout the United States. And today, I'm here to talk to you about the famous Neiman Marcus chocolate chip cookie recipe. See, for me, it started in 94, the first week on the job. I got a letter in my office from a customer berating me for charging somebody $250 for a chocolate chip cookie recipe. I knew nothing about this or so I took it out into my office and I asked my team members out there, tell me about this. And they said, you know, this urban myth has been going around the country for a long time. As the story goes, someone came into one of our restaurants, loved the chocolate chip cookies, asked for the recipe. The server said that they didn't have the recipe, but they'd be happy to mail it to her. At the end of the month, the customer got her bill. And on the bill was $250 charge for a cookie recipe. Now, that's how the urban myth goes. I will tell you, it's never been true. We've never charged anyone $250 for a recipe, period. In 1994, I was told to take the letter down to PR, and PR would send the customer a letter saying, you know what, it's not true, and thank you very much for your time. I asked PR at the time, should we create a recipe? And they said, no, 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 we just want it to go away. Well, in 1995, the web starts, and that chain letter finds its way onto the web, and it blows up. So I go into the kitchen and I create the recipe for the Neiman Marcus chocolate chip cookie. Because I felt that it would be better for us to be very proud about something and actually share with people the right recipe because what was on the web was not ours and I didn't like it to begin with. And that's how we came up with the chocolate chip cookie recipe. So a couple of things that you need to know about the recipe. You know, every day around 3.30, I would go into the restaurant looking for a cup of coffee and something sweet. So, as I was building the recipe with one of my cooks at the time, we decided, why don't we put the coffee into the cookie recipe? Well, we quick, quickly decided that we needed to make sure it was decaf. And so this is 94, early 95. And you know, this is before Starbucks was on every corner, long before the third wave of coffee companies around the United States. So decaf really wasn't being drank by that many people. So to find a decaf, it was really hard, but we had Sanka in the office, and Sanka was like the go-to instant decaf for many, many, many years. So we opened up a pack of Sanka, and we used that. After all these years, though, we do go into the kitchen and find a really, really high-end decaf espresso. We grind it really fine, and that's what we use inside the, uh, the chocolate chip cookie recipe. A couple of things to note about the chocolate chip cookie recipe. We, we talked about the coffee. Now let's talk about the brown sugar because I go into a lot of kitchens sometimes and these cookies will be really super dark and I know right away that they use dark brown sugar. So I'll go into the pantry and I'll find it and I'll tell them, no, you need to use light brown sugar. So make sure you use light brown sugar. We talked about the decaf espresso. So let's get started. First thing we wanna do is we wanna add the butter to the mixer. And you'll notice that I have a paddle attachment on here, really important, you wanna add the paddle attachment. So we add the butter, and we're gonna add both sugars, the brown sugar and the white sugar. And this we're gonna mix for about six minutes until it's nice and creamy. Why don't you come over here and check it out? Let me show you. So see the way that's cream? And it's just, it's just a, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for it to be cream. And then we're going to slow it down, we're going to add our egg, and then we're going to add the vanilla. Now we're going to add the rest of the dry ingredients except for the coffee powder and for the chocolate chips. baking powder and the baking soda. We're going to incorporate that slowly. One thing you want to make sure is when you add the chocolate chips and the coffee powder, you don't over mix it because what will happen is the coffee powder could darken the cookie dough. And I've seen it happen. And you really want to just 
let it go for maybe a minute. Now you're gonna say, boy, that's a lot of chocolate chips, but you know what? There's never too many chocolate chips in a chocolate chip cookie. What I like to do is just kind of work the dough a little bit, and then I'm gonna refrigerate this dough for about an hour before we scoop it and make it into what we call little cookie pox. You know, one other thing that I just want to, you know, tell people about this dough, if the, sh if the butter is too soft, all right, what will happen is, is that that will start to also activate the coffee powder and that will also turn the dough dark. So you don't want the, the butter to be too warm, just want it, just perfect room temperature, I think. All right, and that's it. And we'll come back in about an hour and we'll make the pucks. All right, you see the log of, of cookie dough has been in the freezer for about an hour, and it can stay in the refrigerator overnight too. As a matter of fact, you could just actually make this into a long log and then just cut it as you need it. But I'm gonna cut it at about, probably about a half an inch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna form it a little bit with my fingers, and I'm just gonna put it down there. And that's a, actually a sprayed pan, stainless steel pan. So no paper, just a little bit of spray. And that's how I'm gonna form the pucks. Just like that. Hey everyone, just pulled these out of the oven. They were in for about 20 minutes at 300 degrees. And you'll notice that uh, there's not a lot of color on them, but uh, at Neiman's, we like to serve them soft and chewy. So this is when we pull them. And if you wanna get them a little bit crispier, leave them in for about another five to eight minutes and they'll crisp up really nice. But this is the way we serve them at Neiman Marcus, and this is what you're used to. So enjoy, everybody. Thank you.